All right, so this is from a book called Head and Hands by Andrew Loomis. Okay, y'all need to get that book. Download the PDF or something. Okay, yeah, it's free. So it's a very old book, but it has all the principles, like most of them, like for starters. So I'm going to take that book and maybe some other books that I've, I've, I've come across and try to break the whole thing down. Okay, so we're going to try these angles using the uh, basic round, you know, the ball, the, the sphere. I'm going to have to say ball again. The ball, let me just say it, the ball and the, and the, and the, and the other line, all right? So I'm going to delve deeply into the basics of, of it. And uh, yeah, and just shoot me anything in the comments, like if you, if you don't, if something you really don't like or something you would need me to talk about, like need me to clarify in the video, because I'm, I'm just starting and it's, it's kind of messed up. I, I just decided to go for it. So yeah, let's, let's move on. So we'll take one. So I'm, I'll be looking at them, but you know, you might not be seeing them. So, okay, first one, let me shift this thing up a little bit so I can shake. Yeah, one thing I really hate about graphite, as you can see the top drawing over here is reflecting. Yeah, I don't know. The only people I've been able to fix that is Stedler. Stedler, Lumograph, Black. And like they have like pencils that are like dark charcoal color sort of thing. They don't reflect, so. All right, let's get back to the heads, all right. So, just draw the first one is the profile like we did last time. So, normal ball. Head is looking this way, so straight up this way. So the line is over here. This line represents the front of your face, you know, the middle of your of your eyes, the middle of your nose, the middle of your mouth. So where you want it to be, you draw it there. So and then just this, just this, this, you know, just this, and then um, divide this. Okay, we'll sort of. Don't forget to do this. This cutout is not necessarily a cutout per se in the middle to me because um, the front of the face, and there's a little bit of the front of the face coming out somewhere here, okay? Uh, we're drawing this one actually, so let's pay attention. All right, so, just, so let me just lower the jaw a bit and then bring it in. Yeah, so divide this in a half, like a quarter, and then put the ear in the, yeah, in the last quarter. So it comes out somewhere there, somewhere here like this, all right? And then, boom, okay? Yeah, sorry. Like a, you got like a very thick neck. Let's put in some very, very subtle features, okay? Like the eye, the eyebrow there, okay, and then the now the reason why this dip is here because if you take the face and the eye, I have to delve into the eye better. The eye, there is a space right here. Okay, it represents the whole of the eye socket when you talk about the skull. Okay, we'll delve into that later. I'll do a whole video on the skeleton. Oh my God, this is a class. I cannot believe what I've gotten myself into. Anyway, let's go. So, uh, yeah, and then, okay, so this is half the circle. So let's do the bottom of the circle for the nose, okay? Very simple. And the mouth somewhere in between. A little bit um, more more or less in between than more and more in between, okay? And then the nose shoots out, okay? It's a projection. This is a white man's nose, but a black man's nose will kind of sit, you know? The bridge will go, but it will sit, you know? It will sit. This is like, okay, this is like a Russian's nose. So it will actually sort of, you know, go like this, you know, yeah, sort of black man's nose will be. But let's stick with the regular nose, uh, like a, like a mix in between a, yeah, like my nose, sort of roundy, a little bit pointy, okay? Yeah, this is my nose. Then we'll deal with the mouth coming here. This line represents the middle of the mouth, not necessarily the top of the mouth or anything. So, yeah, and then the chin, like that. I hope you're seeing it. Oh my God, so small. Let me zoom in. Yeah, much better. Oh my gosh, it's falling. Just realized that I might have to hold the camera in place. Okay, so that's typically one. Okay, let's do the jawline. Remember the jawline thing we did here? 
So what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Boom! Sort of, sort of comes out here. It's joined to the eye socket, really. So yeah, and then the inside of the ear. And then don't forget this line. It shows a cranium. It makes it feel like a cranium. And then also when you're drawing the back of the head, don't like draw a circle, like a perfect circle. Draw like curved angles, okay? Sharp curved angles. That show that the head was sort of like placed together. You know, the cranium is not necessarily a round ball. Nobody's head is really round. It's sort of like in shapes. Uh, you could play with those shapes too. It doesn't really matter. Then this is the, 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 some neck muscle over here. All right. And then the nose thing. And I'm going to just give it a little bit of a... Yeah, realistic sort of thing. Yeah, the mouth and then uh, kind of shaking. Oh my gosh, okay. And the eye would be somewhere here, so yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's do another one. <laughs> All right, we're back and do, do, do another angle. Hey, remember this guy? Yeah, it was fun. Now let's do a three quarter. Yeah, three quarter is like a three quarter represents normally what we what we envision about a face believe it or not so the line instead of being at the end over here there's a profile like a straight on side of the head side plane sort of thing but this is more like a three quarter it's got everything in it it gives you a nice angle i like those angles so circle is here and yeah there we go not too long unless you want to draw a very long head Regular head should be about something. No, don't forget the boxes. All right, don't forget the boxes. Okay, we're gonna put a perspective into this. All right, so let's get the side of the. Yeah, this seems to be good enough. Uh, a little bit bigger, and I want to give it a little bit more of a dimension. So I'm gonna put this up, slanting upwards, and this one slanting downwards. Okay like this guy we did so then we'll divide this into yeah let me just put this in the but this line has got to go a little bit the opposite of this line okay because everything going up here has to go down here like a box like a simple box up down down up straight straight okay this is that measure show that the box is 3d you can feel it being 3d you know whatever Erase that little cube. And remember, from here we go down. This is Proko's, Proko's uh, understanding of the Loomis method. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. I really like it. And I'm, and I'm borrowing it, Proko. Please don't, don't take me to court or anything. All right. Now this one. And the chin. Okay. This is a 3 profile. So quick. Quick feature. Let me try and see if I can do this off the top of my head. I'm not a regular that of an expert, but let's see. Okay. Some cheap nose. <laughs> cheap nose. <laughs> what kind of nose is that anyway? Alright, then some eyebrows all the way here. Alright. And this like this. I mean, I mean no, no, two uh, like that. Quick features, you know, I'm not really concentrating too much on the niceness of it, just for you to get the, I might even leave that side and then draw all this. I really need to study the lips and the nose, I can see that my nose is, in fact, the, all the features of the face are quite weak, so we need to, I need to study and come teach you guys. So I will steady it and then teach you guys. So the roundness of the mouth and the chin. We are going to apply this to a human being's head. Ouch. His head. And then the ear. Let it go up a little bit. Come on. This looks... So, yeah. Let's just do the ear like this. And then some eyes. All right. Yeah, let me let's do them closed. All right, close eyes. Close eyes. Got a lot of eyelashes. There's a guy, but has I know this guy. He has the longest eyelashes, even longer than women's naturally, and it is, it's freaky. He's a hairy guy, but come on, I mean, 
I'm heavy. I don't have super long eyelashes. And they're long, but not super long. Roundness of the nose. Cut it out. So cut it out there. Yeah. Okay, so that's another angle. Let's try another angle. Just add a neck, all right? Add a neck to it. Right, let's try another angle. Okay, now we've been doing phases point to the left to, to left. Uh, forgive me for that. I, I'm 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 a born I'm a born southpaw, so my coordination is normally to the left. But let's try to the right this time. It's gonna be a bit awkward, but so round principles round. We're gonna do a right three quarter. All right, we'll come back to the profile. Profile is kind of simple. Let's do a right three quarters. See if we can knock it off. Yeah, get that. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a little bit organic, like curves. Okay. And then do, the, do this thing. And do this thing. And from here, I'm going to cut it off somewhere here. Because I want it to look... Nice. Okay, you see that? <laughs> so, uh, this is... Yeah, you people should check out Mark Crilly. Mark Crilly. I'll put his, his uh, YouTube link in, in the description below. He's very funny with his videos. He does a lot of anime and perspective and basic, basic, basic drawings, which I am trying to replicate, but it's so difficult. It's kind of hard because we've been doing so many uh so much of realistic drawings you know like portraiture realistic portraiture and all that so it's kind of hard to double back into those things so the, that side this is not turning out so well but we'll just keep going so the nose is supposed to go like that and then somewhere here stops and then boom okay so just erase this a lot of lines here the pen just pencil just fall out of my hand like what's going on who is doing this <laughs> and the jaw oh forget the jaw when you add the jaw everything looks so 3d-ish so nice don't you see yeah. all right now let's uh let's suggest some features just suggest not really put them in just suggest them okay the nose all right. Uh, let's see if we can knock this off. Pretty simple. And uh, I'm sort of doing like an anime thing right now. It's sort of coming to me. I don't even know how it's even working out, but it's working out for our good. And a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and some chin. Some chin. We'll go to different types of the features. Let's try the eyes. Okay, since I'm already in anime mode, let's just do this thing. Anime. Anime mode. Pull like, I like, really like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, who likes Demon Slayer? It's just it's pretty nice. The after effects is on point. You, you gotta hand it to them. The after effects team is so on point. Oh, this looks pretty, looking pretty anime. I'm happy about this, because anime is pretty simple to draw. You know? More like a little bit, slightly realistic anime, you know? So I'm just give like a little bit of a suggestion of his jawline and a little bit of that. Then um, since it's anime, let's do anime stare, anime style hair, right? All right, the middle of the line. Okay, let's do some funky, funky anime hair. Anime, I never get these guys. So he's got like a little fade up all this hair, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know we're, going, we're going to this, like, we'll have, like, so much time to delve so deeply into all this nonsense, it's fun nonsense, and I hope you people are getting good day jobs, so you can fund your art, that is, if you don't have any other source of income, all right, I highly recommend that, because I am doing my best to do that, myself i'm working on it myself i haven't gotten there yet so i'm not screaming on you i can't scream if i haven't done it myself all right so you need to erase this oh it's looking pretty good 
Looking pretty good at anime. So let me just do it completely anime and then reduce this chain. But they have different styles of anime. Like, Adventures of Jojo is so muscular anime. Like, it's so muscular. Oh my gosh. Their eyebrows have biceps. Like, it's crazy. So let me just make it anime, you know? Like, this. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Like, it's pretty cool. I like it. You know? Like, some cool school dude with some hidden powers that nobody even knows of. And he doesn't even know the extent of his powers himself. So typically anime. Right, anime is quite simple. Their ears are normally like that, you know, so. Yeah, so that's a right uh, three quarter. Alright, let's try another one. Okay, we've been doing more like down shots and middle shots. Let's try like an up shot. A shot from the top. Alright. Uh, Alright. Let's try an up shot. Um, basic principle, round, and uh, give me like an up shot to the right. Oh my god, my tab went off already. Seriously? Okay, so it's kind of raising his chin, so the, f the chin is coming out like that, you know. So let me, let me exaggerate it a little bit more so that you get the idea. You get the idea, right. Yeah, this is much better. Alright, now, since it's up shot, the perspective is going to be more like, um... Say the box was like this, okay? It'll be more like this. So it's going to be an up shot. So this is where... Oh, you can't see. Oh my goodness. So sorry. Bring it down over here. So the upshot is going to be like this, okay? You kind of get the picture. This is the under of the box. The bottom of the box. So the face, the fit, eyes are going to be here. The nose is going to be here. The mouth is going to be here. Chin is going to end up somewhere here. Then and the ear is going to be somewhere here, you know? So you can actually link it from here and then put like the eyebrows. Eyebrows, you know? Nose, you know, mouth, you know. You get the idea. You get the idea. So we're gonna do that over here. Okay. Regular pencil, regular paper, regular eraser, just to get the basic idea, so that we can do. Hold up, hold up. Okay. We'll do some good drawings. All right. So basic idea. So like this. You see that this thing is not really cutting that circle in half. If it was cutting in half, it would be down here, but I, it's an upshot, so I'm taking it up this way and down. Then since this, this thing is slanted forward, I'm going to slant the side of the head forward. I can actually see, I can feel it, like it's in my mind, I can feel it. When you get a few features and feel the positions, you can be able to draw them without these lines, then you're getting pro. Yeah, then you're getting to be like King jong Yi. Or Peter Hand style, or Coterry Inc. Coterry Inc. on Instagram. K O T R I dot I N K. All right, so upshot. Nose gonna be somewhere here. Mouth's gonna be somewhere here. Chin's gonna end up here. Same thing. I'm gonna same proco thing. Same proco curve. The pro curve, not a proco curve, like the pro curve. Yeah, then I'm gonna join the jaw to it. Pretty simple. You get the idea. Alright. Wait a minute, something feels wrong. Let me, let's try something. Wait. It feels wrong. I got the basic shape. Oh, it's still the same thing. Yeah, it's just that. This, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So let's do this. Line here. Face leaning forward. All right, so this one's supposed to be really angled, but this one not so much. Yeah, I got it. I got it. this one not so much. Excuse me. I don't know what I hate. And then, yeah, sort of. 
and then put the oh it's looking so much like a head now like i can feel under the chin i'm drawing like he's raised his head look at you like what are you looking at yeah we'll draw that what are you looking at pose facial expression i'm not good at facial expressions now so all this area okay this area entire area is going to be under your jaw and your chin okay let me just smudge it out all right okay so nose somewhere here and the mouth somewhere here there's a lot of chin because he's looking down on you and you were looking up to him so you're seeing a lot of chin all right so let's just uh always go for the nose first i don't know why let's extend the nose so you're seeing a lot of under of his nose a lot of it see his entire nostrils his nasal cavities you can see every one of it every last bit of it you can see what he was breathing in last night or yesterday in the afternoon or whatever so here's this line Make it look a little bit realistic. A little bit anime. We'll go for anime instead. Then, then, uh, the middle of the mouth. Yeah. He looks a little mad, I don't know. I don't know why he looks mad, but we'll see. So we're going to see a lot of the bottom of his mouth, too. So you're going to see the dark line all here. You're going to see it because he's showing it to you. So a little bit of the mouth, sort of. Yeah. Oh, this mouth is pretty good. Uh, and the chin comes out like this. I didn't even check the video to see whether it was even properly done. It's God's grace gonna be good. So that's uh, we're seeing very nice nostrils. Yeah, and very nice lips. Probably go like a, I don't, know, I don't know what kind of lips they are, make them look African. All right, now let's deal with the eyes. I think my eyes are getting so weak, I have no idea what's wrong. So yeah, like anime sort of style. So the eyes are gonna come out here. His eye. So you're seeing lots of the under of the top of his eye, the depth of it. Uh, I go this way, I like better. No, it, this wouldn't be brown, it would be more sh either straight. Like this. Make sure that the nose. Then the thickness of the eyelid. Because of course, we have to see the other we have to feel the other side of things right okay so the head bada bing bada bing bang boom pow that was on tiktok though all right so yeah short jaw because you're looking from the bottom and i want to give a little bit of the cheekbone Ooh, looking good. And the subtleties are the best. The subtleties. You don't really need to pron you don't need to really need to announce the fact that he has a, a cranium. You just have to suggest that he has a cranium. There's a beauty about art. You can just suggest stuff. You know? Yeah, I'm just suggesting, suggesting. Clean the middle line of this thing so that I can do some more suggesting. Okay, I'll just suggest this, suggest that, see his lip, a bit more spread, suggest this. This is looking more like a Jojo adventure sort of anime thing. Suggest this, suggest that, and this, just suggest this sort of thing. Suggest that, no, suggest this way. Suggest the nose, just suggest the mouth. The mouth sort of thing is suggest this and suggest that and just keep on suggesting till you look nice and sweet. 
I'm very proud of this last joint. It looks super fantastic. So, well, to me, I don't know about you, but to me, it looks fantastic. So we'll give them a little bit of that muscle over here. We'll break down the muscles of the neck and all that later on. All right, so this is only day two, so no need to rush into anything. Just suggest this. Ooh, suggesting. I um, just can't stop suggesting. Suggest this. Just that and that. See how it feels good to suggest. Now just give a little bit of a shade here and a little bit of a shade here. All the way. The ear to just suggest this. Okay. Deepen this side and suggest the rest. Looks pretty good. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I'm so happy I got through this. And I might post another video. I don't know. But we'll see. God's grace tomorrow will be... Oof. Excuse me. God's grace tomorrow will be looking more at the head. Um, We're trying to keep the practice. Practice is what I think kills it. So we'll just keep the practice up, right? Thumbs up to the practice. Thumbs up to the practice and just clean this chin a little bit. Thumbs up to the practice. All right, so more practice, like, I mean, 10, 20, 30 minutes a day. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't have to be an hour. It doesn't have to be two hours, three hours, four hours. I mean, come on. Some people can drop for nine hours a day, but, you know, unlike me, I'm doing other stuff, so I can't be doing that. Yeah. Oh, I'll suggest this. <laughs> Keep on suggesting until you mess the whole thing up. Sorry. All right. So we'll see you later in the next video. God bless and keep practicing. Bye bye.